the old air raids this morning went and uh, you know they call it moaning mini um, you you know the old stump turned over a bit um, and, uh, and then that was it from then on you waited until the all clear the so called all clear went the siren went uh, you know six or eight hours later and you know Pray to heaven that it wouldn't happen tomorrow, but it did happen tomorrow and day after and the day after for many, many months. You you would, you know, you would sit, <laughs> sit in your house really and hope for the best that they weren't going to come over to you. Um, but they, they probably half the time they did and, you know, you could look out of your house window and you could see unfortunate neighbours of yours, um, you know, their houses on fire and so on and so forth. You were always like dreams. You would go to bed at night and dream that the war was over. And you know the way dreams are, they they, they were either hopeful and could you wake up and think uh, uh, that was just a dream. That was the way it took you. There were times you you, you think uh, we we can't last much longer. You know we can't go on like this. But don't get me on this subject because we become war bores. <laughs> <laughs>College at that time was nothing but on the whole old men, ex service men, you know, they came and they were demobbed, and we had the right to, uh, you know, to get a grant uh, from the government to go to the college. It wasn't so much ruined as it was slightly unkempt and a bit of a shambles, you know. It was just it needed a down good tidy up. But uh, it was a pleasure to be there. I hope I'm not romanticising this, but I felt that uh, there was plenty of activity, and I don't know to what degree that compares well with today. But uh, yes, it was uh, there were a lot, lots of things going on. This summer the winds have been very light on the whole, and our boats have been at a disadvantage against the lighter fireflies owned by some of the other colleges. Quite a few societies there really were, and uh, they were well attended. I'm not so sure about the classes actually. <laughs> Many a pleasant and relaxing afternoon may be spent on, or sometimes in, the water. Now I penned up a note on the board saying we were going to found the society and could people um, put down in, in the column their names and the particular activity that they would be prepared to be in. But most of everybody who have filled it up were usually young lady students who wanted to be actresses. They mm. wanted to act in, their, in our films, but unfortunately we weren't making films for actors. They were documentaries, but we certainly got a, a full list of applicants to want to join. And by then, well, you know, we, we were away. So anything we filmed really was what was taking place around the college. And as I say, there were these short newsreels of, you know, the rag, for example, was one of them. On rag Day, November the 5th, was an event which called for careful preparation. Um, that's, a, that's mostly what I remember in a big way.